Hey guys, it's been a pretty hot minute since we've done a video. It's been a crazy month. So we're coming into the beginning of July. It's July 4th right now. Um, I probably won't get this video posted for a few days maybe. We're gonna try and work out here in the garden. So we haven't been out here a whole lot. And look at this. It has exploded. Not only with weeds, but also with vegetables. So, Coda found a carrot. They're not ready yet. Quit digging them up, girl. I'm not. I'm pulling out the weeds and oh. they're coming out with it. That's okay. So pull the along the sides of the row instead of going for the middle of the row. Okay. You gonna eat those ones too? Yeah, I'm not. Let Ben eat one. Let Ben have that one since you ate the other one. Okay. Okay. Definitely not this one. No. Yeah, definitely not that one. So we have the dog kennel set up here in the garden. Um, as some of you know from one of the posts we made on our Facebook page, we had our pigs overheat and they weren't doing pretty good. We ended up losing um, two of them. Uh, so we had three left. One died because it was sick right after we got them. Um, one of them uh, was able to get out of where we had them in the other pig pen and shoved its head through the fence and asphyxiated, unfortunately. Um, and then the other one, he just got heat stroke. Um, we did call a vet and asked him what was going on. The pig we have in here was having seizures and they were kind of impressive. But uh, what we ended up finding out from the vet was that more than likely these pigs aren't heat tolerant. Um, meaning that the line that they come from just doesn't handle the heat very well. So we moved them over into the dirt to try and keep them as cool as possible. We put this board up to block any of the direct sun and then a tarp. So one whole side is shaded all the time. And then we come out here three or four times a day and just spray the dirt down. So far, the pig we have left to do is doing well. We haven't had any more seizure issues with it. And so it's just gonna hang out in the garden till it gets a little bit bigger. Um, it's looking healthy, it's doing good, but we wanna make sure it just stays that way, especially while we're up in these 100 degree temperatures. So we did get some more pigs. They're a lot more heat resistant or heat tolerant. Um, the people that we, the breeders we got them from breed for that. So we know that these guys aren't coming from a farm where we have to worry about that. Um, and we got, all kinds of vaccination records for them. So these guys will be golden. Um, but anyway, so we're out here in our garden. It is crazy. I know if you look really down these rows, you can kind of see how nuts it is. The beans are growing really well though. Everything's growing really well. We just have weeds that are getting so high. <laughs> so we're trying to come out here in the mornings in the late afternoons um, and weeding because it is just too hot during the day. It's still really hot right now, but luckily, thank goodness, here in this part of Idaho, we do get evening thunder showers. Um, it doesn't always come with rain, but it comes with a lot of cloud cover and usually a nice good breeze. So the wind's starting to pick up. I don't know if you can see the trees moving or not, but it's cooling it down. Um, our high today, I think, was 99 which has been cooler than what we have been. Uh, so it's not it's not too bad to be out here. Some of the kids aren't really keen on working, but that's okay, we gotta get it done. So because we just got these guys, um, they are super skittish. See them hiding in there behind you guys. They're cute little fellas though. Well, girls, they're all girls. They're not boys. So these ones are the heat tolerant ones. Um, again, that's what they're bred for. Uh, their coat, um, so they're, they're blue. They call them blue, they look great, but in pigs they're called blue. Um, but they're a lot more, I guess, furrier. If pigs can be furry, um, then our other ones were. So maybe that's part of the difference with these guys. I'm really not sure. <laughs> And then we did set up a little sprinkler out here. And of yeah. course, they want absolutely nothing to do with it. They prefer to stay in the barn. There are windows on there. The windows are open on the sides. It gives a little bit of ventilation and cross breeze, but 
for the most part, that's where they hang out. We put a sled in there, filled it up with water so they could kind of have a little bit of a wallow because they're not in any dirt. Um, and again, they want nothing to do with it. There's Bolt. So Bolt likes to chase the pigs because they're in an enclosure. He doesn't like animals when they're in a pen. So this dog mama got smart this year and we put the corrugated panels along here and he hates it. But I don't like it when he, when he gets so amped up, he almost loses his mind because he just wants them out of their pen so bad. And I am not about to go chase pigs around the property. Coda and I've done that once this week and um, it wasn't fun. Lucas, don't scare him. No, they oh, don't. They are. See, and they love the dog. They are not even scared of him. They, they aren't scared of him at all, and he adores them. So you kind of see what I mean? That they're a lot more fuzzy. I don't know, furry maybe. And I'm kind of like, there's my babies. I have more babies. Well, sort of, sir. Sort of. We had some progress made. Definitely it's, it's a go. lot Let's more. Go, Let's go. Boy, <laughs> you go. Oh. Cheese, mom, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, are you doing a panorama thing? No. What? <laughs> there you go. With her in there, you kind of have an idea of how big our weeds have gotten. It's all right, we're gonna find the garden. We'll get there eventually. And Coda found a frog. Um, ooh. It's a really little baby one. Ooh, That's a baby. But he's so cute. He's a cute little guy. Mom, can I hold it? I found him. Mom. He's pretty cool, huh? Well, I'll take turns holding it. Ooh. Oh. There you go, bed. Oh, Coda got it. So we have new tomatoes that Coda picked. How many I is there? This one. There's four of them. You picked which one? This one. Cool. And we're actually going to make a salad with them. Are you going to make a salad or are you going to put them in the salad? We're going to come up and put them in the salad. Is that going to be yummy? Are you going to eat them? Yeah. And I think um, we might put some green beans in them and normal beans. Oh, okay. Ooh. Mom. Sounds good, Lucas. We've got five. And five. Oh, I think could have found another one, Lucas. I found another one. Ooh, it's cooler on this side of the high tunnel. Sure. Started getting really hot in there. Coda, we got six. Let's see, Coda. We've got an itty bitty baby one, <laughs> and then we've got a big one. Now we have six. Coda picked them. Good job, guys. I picked four. He picked one. I'm gonna let him pick the others. Good job. But if we get a lot of them. So far we have We're got gonna a bucket to put, put them in. Alright. I'm gonna go see if there's any zucchinis that are ready to pick. 
So I originally came outside to do a little more work on the garden and Coda noticed one of our rabbits um, wasn't doing too good. So Lurch, one of my favorite boys, he's our blind boy, he's blind in one eye. He's gotten super skinny and kind of overnight actually. Um, I'm hoping it's a dehydration issue, although I'm not sure how that could be it when we're out here checking their waters twice a day. So here he is. So this is, oops, sorry about that. This is his blind side. You see his eye got, had some damage to it before. But he's just gotten kind of skinny. He doesn't want to move around a whole lot. He's not too interested in food. So I'm not sure what's going on with him. Now, um, rabbits can go downhill really quick. Um, in that way, they're kind of like chickens. So you just gotta be preventative. And that's what we, we try to take preventative measures rather than waiting for a problem to happen and then take care of it. Um, you know, you give them high quality feed, make sure their cages are cleaned and sanitized on a semi-regular basis, things like that. Um, so he's getting some extra protein and stuff in his food for today. And then we'll put some electrolytes in his water. We'll just see how he does. They're already in an air conditioned building. So the shed is set at 74 and or 70, 75, I think. But it keeps it pretty nice during the day, even when we're over a hundred um, outside. Sorry, I got a cut on my thumb. But hopefully he'll be okay. I'm a little concerned about him. Obviously, they're fine. I think we're getting there with our garden. I don't know. There's still so much to do. We've been outside, well, when we can be, mornings and afternoons, um, or late evenings, not afternoons, it's too hot in the afternoon, late evenings for the past three, four days. Everyone's kind of feeling it. We're all just really tired, so we didn't come out today just because, like everything else, there's sometimes you just need a break. But we've got all the beans done. Um, We've got most of everything around the zucchinis done. We've started down some of these rows and on the other end over there, we have pumpkins. We've got those done. Um, and then the video we did the And then we've got most of the high tunnel done. The high tunnel is kind of tricky. You can only really work in it in the mornings after it's had all night to cool down. Even in the evenings, trying to get in here and work in here, it's kind of brutal. That heat just held in so well. But now we can at least walk in there. We just gotta get this side done. So Robert worked on this other side with the tomatoes while I was inside. And most of all this growing outside of the high tunnel are actually our tomato plants. <laughs> They have just gotten so bushy. The ones up here at the front, these these right here are weeds, but all back there, <laughs> those are tomatoes. <laughs> so we're probably gonna have a lot of tomatoes, which is good. We're planning on doing a bunch of canning, but they've gotten really bushy. <laughs> so he wants to try something with paracord. I don't know. It's gonna be his pet project for the week. She, Huckleberry's yelling at Ben. He's not going as fast as she wants him to. I'll show you. But she's standing on the tire. <laughs> she's waiting for him. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> 